Okay, so hello and welcome back to Game of Age Coins and Banknotes. And in today's video, I've brought quite a lot of Japanese coins. I forgot to introduce myself. My name's Glenn. So we're just going to go through these Japanese coins. And as you can see, it's from all different time periods. So, but basically, you differentiate these into two different periods. Nah. Before and during World War II, and also after World War II, when they suffered inflation. So if you're not too sure, uh, this one will be before World War II, usually in the Sen. And the Yen coins are predominantly silver or gold, like this one. This is a 50 Sen coin made out of silver. Okay, so... <clears throat> Then you've got the World War II coins, which basically were just cheap aluminium. And they yeah, they wanted to issue uh, porcelain coins, but they didn't get around to it. So, we just sort these coins out. And even though these ones up the top are more are modern coins, uh, you can get low mint. Uh, these ones are generally not low mint. These ones are issued in the 50s. In the 50 and 100, they started issuing in uh, 1967 because they replaced this 50 yen, replaced these two coins, and the 100 yen replaced the silver coin. And uh, we got Heisei, yeah, Heisei and Showa. So, we have quite a lot of coins. So, here's the commemorative, uh, no, no, this is a silver coin issued in the 1950s. And it replaced this 100 yen. Obviously, the specifications are the same. Okay, so I actually got these just for some coins to keep. Uh, but most of these I believe I already have so for actual coin sets I'm lacking a lot of uh, 5 yens so those are going into the uh, coin sets which oh, I'll probably just chuck back on eBay but some coins like this one this 1 yen uh, from probably 946 uh, I don't have that one so that one's probably going into the collection Obviously, I don't have that. 50 sen. And a lot of these have probably been out of Japan for quite a while, so I uh, haven't seen a lot of circulation for probably tens of years. Okay, so basically, well, uh, I need to get the other phone. So here we have the two 100 yen, so two silver ones. So this is the early one issued in the 50s. This is one issued in 1966. So there's a, there's 65% silver. So there's about three or four dollars of uh, silver in these coins, but I need to look that up. This one's more beautiful. So I don't know why they, they actually changed this coin over. I mean, the design on this one's just a lot better. Maybe it's just to reduce the, uh, Cost of producing this coin, making a simpler design, make it a lot cheaper. So uh, I'm going to get the other phone so I can know what I'm looking for. And I don't have this one either. Large five on the back, five cent coin. Okay, so let's see what we have. So we're going to separate them to after the Second World War. And what we have here, we put them in denominations. So we've got 5 sen, 10 sen, we've got 1 sen. There's another 5 sen. Uh, here we have a larger 1 sen coin, obviously being hold, probably part of a necklace. And that should be a Meiji. Yeah, 10, year 10. So I can't remember what actual denomination, uh, not, I mean year. So here we have a scrap, so this is a 
uh, for sin. Same type of category as that one. So, uh, obviously you go to Numista and you look up all of these coins. So we've got the half sin, which was um, issued between 1873 and 1892. So that is 19 years, and we can still see the date on this one. This was a uh, Meiji 10. So, where is it? 16. Mm. Yeah, okay, that looks like it's 16. Yep. So, obviously this is not going to be worth much, even if it's a low mint. But 16, you've got 38 million of these made so this one's really just uh, scrap metal pity about the scratches that's not post mint damage obviously you can tell someone scratched that but i reckon it might have been used in some type of device for that to happen okay one sin so this was also first introduced in 1873 Although the Japanese yen was introduced in 1871, not all denominations were first issued. And this design, which is a Meiji, 1873 to 92. And then after that, they changed the design. So this one is um, Meiji 10. So that will make it 1877. 98 million. So obviously also just scrap. Okay. And... We have the smaller coins. So these larger ones are 27, about 28 millimeters. These smaller ones are first issued in 1916. Uh, Taisho, so Taisho is the Moroni monarch after uh, Meiji. And then after that is Showa. So we have two coins in the both Taisho, Taisho 5 and Taisho 10. So that will make it uh, 1916. So this one is a mintage about 16 million. And 10, which will make it 1921, has 252 million. So obviously, this one, although it's been cleaned, you can see this is the original state of patina. This one's been cleaned. This one has a lower mintage, but still, the value of that's pretty minimal. And this one's in higher grade, even though it's 250 million of them produced. Okay. And I've still got the bag, so I'm still listing all the Japanese coins that I've got. So, obviously, I'll separate them into uh, specific time periods, or even if it's just a group. Okay, then we've got the five sen coins. So, if I haven't explained it, one yen equals 100 sen coin. Uh, one thing I like is uh, this one sin. <laughs> so this is the 1938 to 40 issue. It has chrysanthemum up the top, which is the actual flower. And uh, lots of rain. So this is dated Shelwa 15. So that will make it 1940, the last year of issue. It had 600 million minted, so really... Only worth collecting in this uh, high grade. And on the back, we have a mythological crow, Yata Karasu. So that's the actual Japanese name of it. And I don't know much about the actual animal itself, uh, or even what it represents. Okay, so let's have a look at the five sen coins. Uh, obviously, we have. Very different denomination, so we've got the big one, and this started out as a silver coin of about 15 millimeters. Uh, obviously, these are larger. Then they introduced this one, so 1889 to 1897, and it says pay. Okay, we've got to turn it around, and that one is Meiji. Uh, 23 so maybe 23 make it 1890 with 39 million but obviously i don't have it so that's a good keeper then we have this one 
which was introduced in 1897. So obviously they wanted to change the design. So it has five cent on that side. Obviously this is the back because it doesn't have the monarch's initials and has five cent in English. Or that could even be Italian. So this is Meiji 34. So these ones are last minted in 1912. Meiji 34 is 1901 and this is a mintage of about 7.1 million so compared to this one uh, this one is a lot scarcer but the next coin we have is the smaller five cent and that design was first issued in 1920 and what we need to do turn it over because there's actually two different okay Taisho 11. So there's two different issues. One Taisho, which is this one, and a Showa, which is only one year issue. So that's the one we want. And this one's 11, 163 million. So basically, out of three coins, this is the one that is the lowest mintage. So, or one that you want to keep. Then we have the 10 cent. Obviously, this is in pretty poor grade. This is a Show 10, so I'll make it 1921. And I think I've already got this date, but being the second year of issue, it might okay. Has a mintage of a uh, 61 million, so in this condition, not really worth it. I'm gonna put it with uh, these post mint damage coins, and I'll just sell those as a lot. Okay, the last one we have for this video because it's getting a bit long is this 50 cent. So this is the highest denomination also of the 10 coins. And yeah, no, as you expected, they would make a 60 or 70. And also, it is the second lowest denomination in silver at the time. Uh, or maybe it's the lowest denomination in silver. Yeah, I think it is the lowest denomination. And we need to turn it over. Okay, so this is Tosho 12. And that would make it 1922. So this is 72% silver, 9 uh, 4.95 grams, 23 millimeters. And the mintage for this one is 185 million. So it's the highest minted of the lot. And really, in this condition, it's probably only a space filler, even though it's probably extremely fine very fine to extremely fine no i'd say very fine actually and it has a, a silver value of four dollars but you can get other coins from japan with silver especially the one yen anyway i hope this helps you with your coin collecting uh i'm not really unless there's anything special in these modern coins i'm not really gonna make a fuss about making another video because i've got quite a few but you got these world war ii coins and these are all high mint you know i'm talking about hundreds of millions of these coins produce i'll make another video on those then okay i'll actually just talk about these these are the coins issued after the second world war so they issued 5 10 50 cent coins all in brass and aluminium and this is uh the 1948 to 50 brass one yen so these are not really common and the one yen was demonetized in 1953 you should be able to pick these up for just a few dollars this coin here is uh 42 so no 24 show 24 sorry and that would make it Actually, the mintage is included from 1948 to 50. It's included together and all together they've uh, 450 million coins. So we're not too sure on the individual uh, mintage of that coin. And here we have a 5 yen, which was introduced in 1948 along with the 1 yen. And this one is 
Now, what's the building on it? So the building is the National Parliament House, or the National Diet. And this side we have a pigeon. And this is dated Showa 49, which will make it, no, not 49, 24. God, I'm getting distracted. So I'll make it 1949, yeah. Which are 179 million. So obviously, less than $5 for that. So anyway, I hope this helps you with your coin collecting. Thank you and goodbye.